Nice to see you. Nice to be here. Um, we're talking about Jacinda Ardern, the um, I guess now former Prime Minister of New Zealand, who still seems to be facing a lot of abuse. I mean, talk a little bit about that as just what she's endured and um, what she faces going forward. Well, just to remind folks who might have missed the announcement last week, she is stepping down as Prime Minister, and in her departure announcement, she alluded to burnout. She basically said, I know what this job takes and I don't have it in me and it's a sign of respect for the office that I'm stepping down. She also said, if this were just hard, I would have stepped down two months into the job, which I thought was a really telling line and mm -hmm. alludes to a lot of what has happened to her in the five years since she became the world's, at the time, youngest prime minister. She has been the subject of a lot of threats and we see this across politicians across the globe. There have mm -hmm. been a lot of studies. The Center for American Women in politics at Rutgers has found women in the United States receive a disproportionate number of physical threats or cyber threats, harassment online, and you extrapolate what we see in the States to New Zealand, a small country, but you know, Jacinda Ardern had been such a prominent leader in the middle of COVID. Strict lockdowns, strict vaccination policies, if you think the U.S. is politicized, so is New Zealand. So that has contributed to the threat she's receiving. And there's a new report out today saying that she might need security as a private citizen. It's incredible the level of hatred. And I want to distinguish between that job being hard and burnout, which I take burnout to be a surrogate for, for mental fatigue. Are you interpreting it the same way, or is it much more than that? I think the researchers on burnout would say it's more than that. It's, you know, what happens when you're overworked and undervalued and there's a misalignment of the work that you're doing and the values that you have. And I saw a lot of headlines that said, Jacinda Ardern is saying that she's burnt out. And I actually... Yeah, failing women somehow by doing that. I saw a lot of that as well. I, and I saw some headlines, including one of our own contributors saying, you know, she's doing what a lot of women wish they could do. I'm maybe at the risk of being pedantic, I don't want to just assume that she's burnt out. I think when you're receiving physical threats, when you are in the position of stepping down from a political office and as a private citizen, you may still need security to protect you and your family, that to me goes beyond burnout. And that's not to denigrate burnout. Burnout is a severe condition right. that should be treated. But to me, it feels like we're dealing with two separate issues here. 